such. So I'm just going to talk about the challenges I faced. Um, right now, I'm currently working with a company called Voyotel. It's a restaurant reservation platform, just like Zomato. But I'm not going to talk more on that today, because that's still in the market research stage. So I'm just going to be talking more on vacationers and how I started it and what made me start it. Uh, before I get into the story of that, um, there's just the slide. Um, this is my other co-founder. She's, I call her my professional better half, because um, without her, we wouldn't be, uh, you know, as good a team as we are today. Uh, she's co-founded Vacationers with me. She's also my cousin. Um, so yeah, we started this together. Um, I'll just start giving you a background now. So. Um, my cousin and I were working uh, in different jobs. She was working with a startup uh, in October 2016. And I had just left my job with EY. I got a campus placement. Uh, I was working with EY because I thought I was good at tax. You know, I did banking, finance here, did BCom honors. I, was, I thought I was good at finance. Um, I took up um, the job as a tax analyst in EY. But uh, I realized in like eight to nine months that I wasn't very good at it. And I, I knew that this wasn't for me. Um, so in October, I was actually, I, I was clueless of what to do after EY. So I was actually filling out my application forms for my master's. I thought, you know, if nothing's working out, just do a master's. Maybe I'll figure out something after that. Um, but I was just filling out my forms, and she had left her job, and she was like, you know what, this is not working for me as well. And she said that, I want to be an entrepreneur. And I'm like, you can't just get up and say you want to be an entrepreneur, you know. You, you need to have a plan in mind. You need to know what you want to do. Um, so she actually had a friend who was opening up a restaurant that time as well. So she said, I want to get into this industry as well. And she told me that I will go in alone or you help me with it. So I told her that, look, I'm not going to cancel my plans of, uh, you know, doing my master's because I really wanted to do that that time. So I told her that whatever help you need, I will help you do it. But don't expect me to be there full time with you. Just once you start, I'm out. Um, so, so the first challenge I actually faced uh, was, you know, they say charity begins at home. Uh, my challenges sort of began at home. Um, I come from an orthodox family. My parents weren't really happy when I took up the EY job. They were like, you know, why do you want to work? They were like, just sit at home for two years and get married. I'm like, uh, why do you think it's necessary for me to get married? They were like, settle down. I'm like, um, I'm not going against them right now. It's just that their idea of settling down, my idea of settling down was, uh, is very different. So I told them that um, I'm not going to get married. I'm going to go for a job. I did the 9 to 5 job. And they were happy with the 9 to 5 job because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm home. Say 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock max, you're home, OK? So they were happy with that. But uh, when my cousin and I told them that we want to be entrepreneurs, they said that, you know, this is not happening. They said that, just sit at home, give us a year, we'll find a guy for you, and you'll get married. And I said that I'm going for my master's either way. So my cousin starts on her own or, you know, I don't know, she, she'll have to figure something out. So that was my first challenge to convince my family to let me do it and let us do it. Because um, there were a lot of aspects involved. My family does not eat non-vegetarian. They don't drink alcohol um, in front of others. I mean, garpe, it's fine, you know. <laughs> so uh, we, we don't, people don't really think of us as outgoing. They think that we're orthodox. So, um, you know, they were like, jo bhi shuru karna hai, don't do it with non-veg because, you know, paap lagta hai. So <laughs> I'm just like, what do you want me to do then, you know? Uh, so they were like, no non-veg, no alcohol, you know, whatever um, other way you want us to help, we'll help you. So I told them, I'm like, I need funding. And they were like, uh, no. I'm like, why not? They were like, we're saving for your marriage. I'm like, just give me that money. I'll get married when I have to. So that's another part, finance, where I got my finance from was she, um, you know, took out the money from her marriage fund, and I took out the money from my marriage fund, and that's how we started um, this cafe. Uh, we started planning it in April 2017. Um, it took us quite a lot of time because uh, we wanted all the details to be perfect. Uh, how many of you have visited the cafe until now? Not a happy number. OK, but I'm hoping after today, a lot, lot of you will come to cafe. But anyway, um, there are a lot of finer details that we wanted uh, to be perfect when we were doing this. So the execution and planning and everything took us sort of uh, six to eight months. 
and by the time the cafe started, I was obviously uh, in UK doing my masters. It was just my cousin handling it on her own. Um, so I don't really know the challenges she faced then, but I can tell you that once I got back, there were a lot of challenges then as well. Even though we were into one year of doing business, um, there were still a lot of challenges because uh, you know, when you're in, in, in an industry like that, you have day-to-day -day challenges. There's nothing that comes once and does not come again. Um, you know, um, some of the challenges are really textbook challenges um, that you'd study about, but you don't really know how to go about it. As Evan Sir said, that you know, the, you, no one really teaches you how to be an entrepreneur. So. Um, we did, we faced a lot of those challenges, textbook, ch textbook challenges like, you know, finance, HR, and, you know, like, just your day-to-day -day operations, allocating funds and all of that. We, we faced a lot of issues with all of that, but uh, we got through it. I mean, there was also a point where um, we ourselves were serving the customers because we didn't have enough people. So when you're an entrepreneur, no job is too small or too big for you. Um, you have to, uh, like Avan sir again said that you have to do housekeeping, you have to you know, serve people. So there are a lot of uh, things that you have to do when you're an entrepreneur. You can't uh, really say, you know, this job is too small for me. So when, when you're an entrepreneur, you've got to do everything. We've cleaned, we've cleaned bathrooms when our housekeeping is not turned up. We've served customers. We've done all of that. So you guys just have to be prepared for a lot of it. Um, next slide. So this is actually how the place looked before we uh, started working on it. Um, it was just like an office cafeteria and you know, it's, it's a building with, uh, on, this is on the third floor, the cafe is on the third floor right now, but this was just an office ca cafeteria. They were like, you know, the office on the second floor needs the space for people to come have their lunch, for the employees to come have their lunch. So that's how it looked initially. Um, took us about six, seven months to, you know, completely revamp it, and um, yeah, and um, as as in the introduction, it was already mentioned that I took up hotel management and bartending as certificate course. Um, I know a lot of you might be thinking, Ki, what is this certificate course? Why do I have to do it after college? Uh, and you know all that, but um, for me, it was very different because I took up hotel management only because it was the first thing that popped in uh, on the list. So I was like, okay, let's just do this. But um, there are actually notes from my, uh, from my course that I saved up until now. And my teachers were uh, Zach sir and Sushil sir, and they taught us so well um, that even until today, I think these were the notes that helped me, uh, you know, start, gave me kind of a direction because they taught us right from, uh, you know, how to start it to like what kind of operations and you know what challenges you'll face in your operations, what kind of glasses, crockery, blah, 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 whatever you need. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm just saying that uh, your certificate courses are also important and traveling was my hobby. Um, I made sure that my parents traveled with me every year. So if you guys have been to the cafe, you would have seen um, there's a section of Travelpedia. Very innovative name, I know. Um, so there's a section of Travelpedia. So my family uh, and I, like the entire family, we go for a trip every year. We collect brochures from there. We actually get brochures from there and put it on the shelf. So, you know, we're really proud of that bit that all, all the places I've traveled to is right up on the Travelpedia. It's like my travel journal right up on the Travelpedia. Um, but yeah, the, that's all the challenges I face. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I just want to do a little bit of marketing here and say one challenge for you, one, one thing would not be a challenge for you guys would be to come one kilometer away from here and visit the cafe. So um, please do that and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.